dramatic eye look so I'm just priming them using Tarte Shape Tape which I always use as my eyeshadow base and then I'm going in with some tape and I'm just going to pop this on the outer corners of the eyes getting them as even as possible. Then we're going into this drugstore palette which is absolutely incredible. It's the Rimmel Magnifies Jewel Rocks Edition palette and I'm going in with this mustardy shade and I'm just using this as a transition with an E40 brush. And then I'm going into that beautiful deep matte emerald green and I'm taking an E25 from Sigma and I'm just starting to build this up in the crease. This color does take a little bit of building but it is so beautiful and so worth the building of the color. Then I just went in with a smaller brush in the E44 with more of that product and started to build it up and kind of pack it on a bit more precisely. And then I'm going back into the mustard shade on my E40 and I'm just blending those edges making sure everything is super seamless. Then I'm just going back in with my E44 with some more of that emerald green and I'm just doing the same thing, really just building it up in the crease. Then I'm going back in with my Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to cut the crease. So I'm just applying it where I want basically my eye to look more open and a little bit bigger. I'm not doing a full cut crease, it's more like a three quarter cut crease I guess you'd say. And then I'm going back in with my E44 and I'm just using a little bit more of the emerald shade and I'm blending and then taking a tiny E36, I'm taking more of the emerald shade and I'm just using that right along where I've cut the crease just to make it look a bit more carved out. Then I sprayed my brush with some Fix Plus and I'm picking up this light shimmery green. It's absolutely beautiful and I'm just packing this onto the area where I use the concealer and cut the crease. Then just going back in with the deep emerald green, I'm using my E36 once again, just building up that crease and really keeping it precise while blending the lighter shade and the darker shade together. You don't want it too blended, but you do want it to look a little bit seamless. Then I just went in with this darker green and I just popped this kind of on the outer portion of the eye, just where the matte green meets the shimmery green. I just wanted a little bit more of an ombre look. Then just going back in with some more of that mustard shade on an E40, I'm adding some more in the transition area. And then for my eyeliner, I'm just using the Quick Flick, but I'm not actually using the stamp. I'm just using the liner because I already have the tape. There really wasn't any need for the stamp. So just creating a winged liner. Then I just removed the tape and it was super crisp and beautiful. And I just went in with my Sigma Longwear Liner Pencil and I just popped that into my tight line. And then for mascara, I'm using my favorite at the moment, the Rimmel Wow Wings Mascara. Absolutely beautiful. And then for lashes, I popped on the Glam by Manicare Luxe Lashes in Harper. Moving on to the face, I am priming using the NYX Angel Veil Primer, so I'm just massaging that all over my face. And then I'm going in with the MAC Hyper Real Foundation. You guys know I'm obsessed with this, like I cannot get enough. So I just plonked some of that onto my cheek and then I used a Sigma F60 flat paddle brush just to blend it all over my face. Then for foundation, I went in with MAC Studio Fix Fluid, which was perfect for this look because it's super full coverage and it just makes everything look really perfected. So I'm just using a damp sponge from Rimmel just to blend this into my skin. Then for cream contouring, I took the Tarte Pro Glow Palette and I'm using the cream contour shade obviously and I'm using a models prefer airbrush foundation brush this brush is amazing for cream contouring I absolutely adore it so just putting that on my cheekbones around my hairline and my temples and under my bottom lip and my jawbone and I just went back in with my sponge and made sure that my contour line was nice and crisp then I just used my Tarte Shape Tape once again to conceal and highlight so all underneath my eyes and down the center of my face and then just back in with my damp sponge to blend all of that in. 
Then to set my under eyes and a little bit of the center of my face, I used Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer Powder. That is a mouthful. So I just popped it under my eyes and a little bit down the center of my face, just where I wanted it to be more highlighted. And then I went in with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in C3 and I just set the rest of my face. Then to set my cream contour, I'm going back into the Tarte Pro Glow palette and I'm just using the powder contour shade on a Sigma F05 brush and I'm just basically popping this wherever I put my cream contour, making sure it was all nice and blended and giving my skin a nice amount of color. For blush, I went in with MAC Melba. I feel like this was the perfect blush for this eye look. I just applied a really, really light amount. And then for highlight, I used a limited edition one, but you, you can still get it. It's just not in this packaging. It's the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Whisper of Guilt, and it is oh so beautiful. I am obsessed with it. So I just highlighted pretty much all over my face with this and then setting everything down with some Fix Plus. Then to finish up the eyes, I'm going back in with my E36 with some more of that emerald green, and I'm just buffing this underneath the lower lash line, basically right into the inner corner. Then I took some Fix Plus on a tiny E46 brush, and I took that lighter green shade, and I just plonked that right in the inner corners of the lower lash line. And then I used the highlight shade from the palette, which actually has like a golden greenish tinge to it, so it went perfectly. Then I just popped some black liner in the waterline to make it look a little bit more dramatic. And then I went in with the mustard shade. Once again, I just wanted to tie this into the lower lash line, make everything nice and matchy-matchy. And then for my lips, I went in with MAC Lip Liner in Barely, Boldly Bare, sorry. And I just completely lined my lips with this color. And then I filled them in using the ColourPop, oh sorry, I forgot about my lower lash mascara. I almost forgot to completely do it. But to fill my lips in, I went in with the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Skimpy, and that is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely love how it turned out, and I love that it's drugstore. And I will see you in my next video.